Welcome back to the Big Fat Anniversary Quiz. Channel 4 executives literally scour the globe for great TV, from the west coast of America all the way to the east coast of America. <laughs> Sadly, that means we missed out on Afghanistan's top sitcom, Till Death Do Us Fulfill Our Glorious Dreams of Martyrdom. <laughs> Who cares? We all love American telly. There was Friends, you know, the one about the group of funny, lovable, attractive people who hang around with David Schwimmer. <laughs> the Cosby Show was an innovative and different comedy in that it didn't contain any jokes and nothing funny ever happened. <laughs> sex and the City was an incredible achievement, a programme entirely about sex that was almost impossible to masturbate to. No sex act was off-limits in Sex and the City, oral, anal. I saw one episode where someone fucked a horse. Turned out it was Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> OK, here are some questions about American TV on Channel 4. Right, I've got a picture clue for you first. Here's a sample one. Have a look at this. Nice. Obviously, that is... Jimmy Carr. <laughs> Couldn't be easy. So, then you're going to have to work one of these out. Okay. Oh, OK. Oh, I see, yeah. Can you yeah. decipher these pictures to find a memorable quote from an American show? Oh, my Lord. Have you got it, Iwadi? I'm expecting great things from you. Why? <laughs> because of your high-level education. Oh, and, and... come on. I've, 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 I'm going to continue to disappoint you. That's, that's my aim. OK. Your next question comes courtesy of Quentin Tarantino. Hi, Jimmy. All you avid Channel 4 fans will remember that in 1995, I guest directed an episode of ER called Motherhood. But can the teams tell me why a 1997 episode called Ambush was in particularly nerve-wracking for the cast and the crew? Well, was someone else his controlling eyes. his eyes? <laughs> Did you put the lines the on the disco ball or something? <laughs> So, so stressful for the cast and crew of ER that night. I was just about to say that. Well, fancy we'd be wrong, that. which means we'd both be wrong. Did you ever watch ER? I love ER, but it because it's so fast and the, the the energy of it is incredible. But a word of warning: never watch ER and then follow it with a, an episode of Casualty because you can't cope with that amount of slowdown. It's <laughs> it's like taking crack and then an aspirin. <laughs> Disappointing. I think ER is incredibly because it's about a hospital. It's about a place where we will most of us die. If we're lucky, we'll die there rather than in a fireball. <laughs> you know, I don't want to see it until that's happening to me. Really, I don't want to see it for fun in a story about other people who are dying in a way that one day I might. Can I say there used to be a, a, a joke in Birmingham. There used About to be a joke in Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> You've done very well out of it, Frank. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I've reworked it in every form. <laughs> and it used to be, why has the Queen got so many children? Because, she, because she's got ER on her knickers. <laughs> right? And in Birmingham, that means ER. <laughs> if you're watching in Birmingham, that's for you. I think it's interesting that in Birmingham people think that the way sex happens is you strip someone down to their knickers and then read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's, no, she's offering ER. Yeah, but, but why would the Queen be in her pants anyway? Yeah. <laughs> at that point, it's why probably wouldn't... clear that well, she's at that, Hang on, at that point she would be somewhere in Birmingham yeah. with her pants fully exposed. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that there's instructions on the pants at that stage is not the main thing that's going to tip whoever it is, who was going to have a go over the edge. <laughs> Surely they would have started by saying, why is the Queen in this bar in just her pants? <laughs> and someone would get, oh, no, oh, no, let's not do anything. Let's wait to see if there's a message. <laughs> All right. It could be. In she the could field. Be, she could be in a hotel in Birmingham. There could well, be an how would they have got in? An intruder. <laughs> what, an, an intr intruder who then will read the instructions on the pants, Frank? <laughs> reading the instructions, it's reading them out loud and working out what they phonetically mean. <laughs> also, in Birmingham, presumably as everywhere else, ER is on every post box and every policeman's... <laughs> every policeman's <laughs> head. <laughs> is this a city where policemen are being repeatedly fucked in the skull <laughs> by well-meaning strangers? <laughs> because <laughs> in certain fact, bars on Fridays... Surely no, it's, no, it's not. Apparently, they just save it for the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next I want to know, can you name the four friends in Sex and the City? 
Carol, Alan, we're expecting great things. Oh, I know. Do you want surnames and star signs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. OK, no, so the character no. names I'm looking for. Character names. Yes. I'll give you a clue. Horsey, slaggy, dikey, prim. <laughs> Next. A little photo question. I've slightly enhanced this picture. Can you identify the classic Channel 4 show? <laughs> <laughs> what? You do look rather lovely in that. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Really I've do. made an effort there. I know, I can tell. I've just kind of slightly dropped a hip as well, which is a good look for That's me. That's a great <laughs> look. Alan thinks it's scrap heap challenge. That's what he said. It's not no, scrap heap challenge. That's hurtful towards Jimmy. It's a personal slight. Sorry. It is. <laughs> OK. And finally, it's over to Ricky Gervais, who, of course, made his debut on Channel 4 and has since worked as an extra and in an office. <laughs> Sad, I wish it had worked out for him. On The Sopranos, the greatest TV show of all time, dementia-suffering Uncle Junior confuses himself and his friend Bobby with the stars of which other Channel 4 show? I say Channel 4 show, they don't make any shows, they just buy them in. Where's the skill in that? Ooh, we've got the money. Brilliant, well done. Which show? <laughs> which other show did it...? I don't know what's the Sopranos. Oh, it's going to be another American show. It... Oh, Sopranos is brilliant. Have you all got something there? OK, uh, let's find out how you did in round two. Uh, what memorable quote did you find in the picture? OK, what have you got, Alan and Jack? Well, this is quite simple. We are old biscuits. <laughs> from, from which show? It was a pilot. It didn't go very far. No. <laughs> is that right? We are old biscuits? No, no, it isn't. Oh. Frank and Carol, what you went with? Can I just say that we've got bottles of things down here, but no glasses, and I think it's very cheapskate, frankly, on Countdown. We always have glasses. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Carol, you're on a detox. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to cover up the label. <laughs> that looks worse. <laughs> 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 oh, Carol, get a room. <laughs> Sorry about that. What was the question? OK, what was your answer? We were uh, on a break. OK, Richard and uh, David, you seem to have got this right. Go on, moment of glory. Uh, is it we're on, on a break from off of Friends? Friends, they said. Yeah, we're well, on a break. You're close enough, I we're think, to get something break. there. We were on a break, was we the correct? We were, oh, right. From Friends. Do you remember they were on a break? Yeah, we were yeah. on a break. OK. Uh, Quentin Tarantino asked you what was unusual about that episode of ER. Your answers? Went out live, it was live, live. OK, let's go to Quentin Tarantino <laughs> for the answer. Did anyone get it? <laughs> the answer is because that episode was filmed and broadcast live. <laughs> OK, so you all got that. OK, what are the names of the friends in Sex and the City? Yep. What, what have you got, Richard and David? Carrie, Miranda, Samantha, and Gwen. <laughs> um, we we thought some doubt at Gwen. <laughs> Gwen was a definite guess. So Carrie, close. we're pretty confident on. Sliding scale in between. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Carol and Frank, you went for Carrie, Samantha. Well, Frank went for this because I could only remember two of them: Charlotte and Miranda. Get him. <laughs> He said, all four. he said, don't tell me what they are, I know what they are. Like well done, you. Uh, yeah. Alan, Jack? And uh, Carrie Bradshaw's on the next line. <laughs> but it is there, you will see. With uh, you do you know what, Alan? I'm going to take well. your word for that. I Thank think you, you probably got this one. <laughs> yeah, the answer was Charlotte, Carrie, Miranda, Samantha, which coincidentally is the order in which I would do them. <laughs> OK, next one. I asked, who was I being in this photo? What hey. show was that? What'd you get? Cheers. Well done. Cheers. What'd you go for, Carol and Frank? Uh, we went for Cheers, Carol. obviously. It was a lovely and Richard pose. and David. We went for Cheers or How Clean Is Your House? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's have a little look. Uh, she it's... looks like Edwina Corey. <laughs> you all get a point for Cheers. Next one. OK, uh, Ricky Gervais asked you to name the show that confused <laughs> The Sopranos' Uncle Junior. What did you think it was? What did we say? Ah, now, you see, we didn't have time to write it down. <laughs> NYPD Blues, we thought. OK, incorrect. Uh, uh. OK, Jack and Alan? Curb your enthusiasm. OK, and Richard and David? Curb your enthusiasm. OK, let's go back to Ricky for the answer. The answer is curb your enthusiasm. You right? <laughs> he won a competition. 
I don't know why he's old now. I'm mic'd up. I was, I walk around mic'd up. Just wanted to. But you wish you had a shave now, don't you? <laughs> don't be embarrassed. Jimmy started off like this, and it wasn't a mic he was holding. I can tell you that. Thanks very much. Ross. You're both absolutely right. It was Kirby yeah. enthusiasm. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at the scores. Alan and Jack have eight points. Carol and Frank have eight points. Uh, Richard and David catching up with six points. Oh. <laughs> Richard, you are our youngest panellist. You were how old when Channel 4 started? Five. Do you remember anything about it? I, I didn't mind it. I thought it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was all right. I, I approved it. I thought, yeah, go. Go ahead. <laughs> To be honest, I wasn't massively consulted on the whole process. <laughs> I, 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 I was kind of left out with a lot of key decisions in setting up the channel. And, um, <laughs> I think we can see the fruits now. It's uh, <laughs> not working out. And the channel, or for me as a man. Right, now it's time for a bonus round all about talk shows. Sometimes a talk show will run and run like Parkies. Sometimes the audience will run and run like Davina's. <laughs> Okay, some questions for you. Can you tell me which two Channel 4 chat show hosts were described by the Bee Gees as tosser and scum, respectively? I'm getting the hang of this. Good yeah. Jeff. John Snow. Okay, you all got something? Yeah, we've got something written down. You got something, all right. Well, what have you got? Well, Clive Anderson called them tossers, I think. And they walk, one of them walked off, didn't he? I they all walked off. No, they off. called him a tosser. No, 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 no. No, no, no he called them a tosser. They, they were in a band rude, called either. something like the tosser. And he said, well, you've been tossers ever since, and they all walked yeah. off. So I presume that they would... They bounced that back at him. They, right back at you, said the Bee Gees. And, and scum, mm. we just guess Terry Christian. <laughs> well, you all got Clive Anderson. He's terrified of losing that hand, isn't he? <laughs> he's, got, <laughs> he's got the other one gripped tight on that bastard. He's okay. hiding the fact that at the time he had an ill-advised Egyptian beard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you thought Clive Anderson was a tosser, and who do you think was scum? Uh, John Snow. John Snow. We thought because he can be sort of a very he can be a tough interviewer. I imagine. We guess. We guess. We yeah. guess. We guess. We guess. But I imagine he'd take the Bee Gees to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it's not John John Snow. It's not Terry Christian. Alan and Jack. Graham Norton. You're absolutely right. Oh. You get the points there. Well done. <laughs> yes, the Bee Gees called Clive Anderson a tosser and Graham Norton scum. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Ring My no, Bell, no. hosted by Laurie Pike, briefly but oh so brightly lit up our screens in 1991, providing yet another twist on the talk show format. What was the twist, the twist? of Ring My Bell? Can I... Oh, can I... write it down? What is Can it? you write it down? Yes, yeah, same as all the other questions this far. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> changed, Vorderman. She's whispering in Frank's ear. <laughs> I'll be getting changed in the front room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that new rug, so, so warm. <laughs> OK, what do you think was unusual about Ring My Bell? What have you got, David and Richard? Uh, it? It's the first and only campanology-based <laughs> chat <laughs> Literally some bell ringers <laughs> from a church finding out what they were in, doing. Interviewing maybe I mean the Bee Gees didn't get on with them either. <laughs> they um, called them bell ends and <laughs> they just, you know. Mm. Oh come on, who cares? <laughs> this, this, I'm, you know. Okay, you're you're wrong, but point taken. Thank uh, you. Karen and Frank, what have you gone with? I sort of remember it, and I might be right. Was he like a shock jock? in a radio studio, and people used to ring on the phone, and then he'd talk to them on the phone. So his talk show, his guests were on the phone. Oh, not quite. Um, what Alan I and wrote, Jack, what have you got? Doesn't, what I meant to say was, there were celebrities, weren't there, in booths? She spoke to celebrities, so that's the new twist on... <laughs> the new twist on a chat show. And listen, listen. Let him speak. Hear me out, <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> All right. What I meant was that them as the public could phone celebrities. That is the right answer. You get a point. So do you, Frank and Carol. You're pretty close with that. You don't get a point for that. Oh. <laughs> OK, 
<laughs> After the break, we'll be talking about Channel 4's contribution to youth TV. Shows like TFI Friday, which was called TFI to avoid saying unpleasant words no one wants to hear at tea time, like it's the Chris Evans show. <laughs>